hi hi guys this is bakka pachin chalikar welcome back to test automation to selenium in this video tutorial we will discuss annotation test in test ng with different parameter passing let us jump to the high level agenda these are the different types of test ng annotations in the test ng framework we have discussed all the annotation annotations in the test ng framework accept this annotation data provider in this video tutorial we will discuss different parameter passing to the annotation test annotation annotation test sorry we have discussed in the previous test and test ng tutorials how to pass the priority attribute to this particular annotation test and how to set the description for that particular test script and uh, how to uh, write a invocation count for that particular test script and how to disable for that particular test script and we in this video tutorial we will discuss next two parameters that is depends on method methods and we'll discuss one more parameter called always run is equal to true let us jump to the eclipse id here i'll <coughs> uh, click on this particular package and i'll press ctrl n i'll type just class and here i'll select the test ng class here you have to specify the name of that particular class here i'm mentioning annotation annotations test that's it just click on finish button so here you got the new class that is with the test and sorry annotation test i'll rename this f with the test one first we'll discuss uh, <coughs> how to uh, define this depends on methods first i'll create uh, one uh, simple test one test one method and after that just i'll do simple sys sys out in that particular uh, test script so here i'm writing uh, test one is up and running okay that's all i'll copy the same test one and i'll just paste it here that's all first i'll show you how to use this uh, depends on methods and what case you have to use that depends on method suppose say for example i have test uh, i have uh, sorry i have test one method here if this particular test is passed then only you execute this particular test to method that is how depends on methods will work so let me define uh, sorry let me define annotation test for this second test so let me define the parameter for this so once it is executed so you will be getting a clear idea how it is executing so let me write the depends on depends on methods equal to in braces you have to write it in a <coughs> double quotation you have to specify the method name of that particular test that's all if this particular test is executed successfully then only this particular test test 2 will be executed if this test 1 is failed because of some assertions or it is not able to find some locators any of the reasons this particular test one is failed then this test two will be not executed this will be get skipped in my case it is executing properly because i don't i have not put any assertion in this particular test one so it will execute test one properly that is successfully so in in my case it is this test 2 will be executed successfully 
So, let me execute with the this program and you will get to know just run this program. In my case, it is uh, a positive scenario. We, uh, let, let me check out the output. See, it, here it is total test run is 2 and there are no failures and there are no skips. So, it is executing properly test 1 and the test run is up. Sorry, test 1 is up and running and test 2 is up and running. So, in my case, this particular test 2 method is always depend on this test 1. If this particular test 1 is executed successfully, then only this test 2 will be executed. So, let me put some assertion in this test 1. If I put assertion, just I will uh, forcefully, I will fail this particular test. Just I'll write here uh, false. That's all. See, in my case, this particular test will be not executed successfully. Then this test will be skipped because this this uh, test two is is depends on the test one. So, if this particular test is not executed successfully, it will not execute this test case successfully. So, in my case, it is uh, getting uh, failed. That is a test one and this test two will test two will be skipped because this particular test one is not executed because of that reason test two will be skipped. Just run this program and you will have a clear idea. Just go to the results here. Total test run is 2 and the failures is 1 and the skip is 1. Because this failures is my test 1 and the skip uh, skip test case is my test 2. Because of this particular test 1, depend, dependency is having on the test 2. If that particular test 1 is executed, then test 2 will be executed. So, in my case, it is first test case 1 is not executed. So, that is the reason test 2 is not executed. So, that is how you have to use this particular depends on method. If you are, if you want to execute irrespective of the dependency, then you have to use one parameter called that is always run is equal to you have to make it as a true. Then irrespective of the, this dependency whatever you have setted for this particular test 2 this test will be running just i'll write here always run equal to true that's all in in this case it is giving me some suggestion just uh, let me check out what exactly it is telling. So, it should be in a small letter that is all. So, in this case irrespective of this particular test 1 is failed or passed that does not matter to the test 2. If you specified always run is equal to true. So, I have uh, in this same case I have uh, still this test 1 will be failed. So, I have specified the always run is equal to two, uh, true parameter for this particular test 2. In this case, it will execute irrespective of the condition that is test 1 is failed or the or passed. Just execute this program and you will get to know the functionality of always run is equal to true parameter. That is all. Now, here you check out the output tests run is total 2, but failure is 1. Earlier I sorry earlier I got skip as a 1 because this test 2 was depends on the this particular test 1. In this case I have set this uh, always run is equal to true in the in that case irrespective of the test 
failed dependency is passed or the failed that particular test will be executed correctly so there are failures one that is a test one and there are no skips in this time that's all i have in this video tutorial let us go to the agenda i have discussed this annotation test with the different parameters in the previous video tutorials and as well as in this video tutorials and if you have any queries you can comments in the comment section or else you can drop me an email or else you can send out an whatsapp message to my number if you want to learn more more about selenium automation testing click on subscribe button if you like this video please share and like this video stay tuned for the next video tutorial on test ng annotation that is called annotation data provider thanks for watching